All right, so we're back on pet catchers because today I've got another secret pet for you guys. I was reached out by this incredible player that is standing to my left or I guess my right hand side, if you want to be technical about it. His name is Perished, and he was able to go ahead and get his hands on the Profit Pet. If you're not familiar with what this is, basically they went ahead and added three global pets that can be obtained in any of the regions in the game. The Doggy 1337, the Pot of Gold, as well as the Profit. Now, as I'm sure you already saw there, I have been able to get my hands on the Doggy 1337, but I haven't been able to get my hands on any of the other ones, mainly because I haven't really been hatching eggs i just decided to hatch a couple eggs throughout last night while i was recovering from my 20 hour live stream and aside from the fact that i was lucky to get my hands on finally an infernal revenant which i for some reason have not been able to get but i also got the doggy 1337 now a lot of people have this i mean literally i have serial number 4547 but the profit on the other hand only has about like a hundred maybe like high 90s of existence obviously i'm kind of just assuming that that's the number because he hatched it i believe he said yesterday or something like that and his is serial number 90 so that means that it can't possibly be that high up either way this is the rarest secret that was added without any types of boost whatsoever it is a one in 4.8 million drop chance which is ridiculous but arguably, I think it looks a lot better than the Sentinel. But anyways, he's going to trade it over to us. We're going to go ahead and try and get it shiny for him. And I'm also going to get it to max level so that that way we can see what the max stats are. Let's take a quick little look here at his inventory. Bro's kind of stacked. I'm not going to lie, man. He's got two of these revenants. What? And he has a better doggy cereal than me. Bro, not going to lie. That took up a lot of my time yesterday doing the 20 hour live stream. But it is what it is. I'm not really all that mad about it. I had a great time but anyways back on topic here it is the profit number 90 he only has it at level 9 right now and it does 3000 damage it's not even in its shiny form so for starters let's take a look at it look how sick this thing looks bro it is without a doubt better looking than sentinel let me know in the comments what you think is it better is it not personally I think it looks maybe three times better. Now, by no means did he tell me that I needed to do this. I kind of just offered because I really don't care about the cherries. I can get some more. I play literally enough that I can get more cherries. And if he kind of went out of his way to go ahead and help me out with a video by letting me borrow this, why not just go ahead and attempt to get a shiny for him? I kind of have fingers crossed, dude. I've been really lucky for myself with the cherries. I've pretty much gotten every single pet that I want in its shiny form just because it always works out for me. So I'm kind of hoping that these 39 are enough. But Let's see, man. Here's the moment. No, bro. What? That's the first time that ever happens to me. Of course, the one time that I need cherries, there isn't any for sale here. But yet there's been a bunch of them constantly for sale throughout the last like 15 hours. And then over here, we got void cherries, which actually, I mean, this is a good thing. Let me go ahead and grab these. I can use it on mine. Now that we have all these void cherries, I can technically use them on all of these old pets that I have. I can get myself, there's four cherries. All right, for this one, we're gonna get ourselves a one cherry. I was hoping for four, but it is what it is. And final one, uh, another one. No, come on, man, we needed four more. It's so funny, I'm literally going like above and beyond right now for a pet that's literally not even mine. <laughs> but again, it's perfectly fine. Please, pet catcher gods, let me have this for the sake of the video. I beg of you, please. Come on. No! Another six and I still didn't get it, bro. All right, here is plan C, okay? I've been building up for this moment, but not exactly for this kind of situation. I didn't think I was gonna use it for this, but prismatic tomes. Been holding on to these for quite some time now. I have 19 of them. So I just went ahead and used one of them, which reset every single shrine in the game. And it also reset every single shop. So let's go ahead and put our shrine pets on. We're going to grab the cherries over here, which thankfully I got six from here. And then I'm going to pretty much hit every single one of my shrines. And we're going to check out the black market over here. Still nothing, but there is a prismatic. So I'm going to grab that. And I'm also going to grab all these level ones. Let's see if we get lucky. Is there going to be some golden cherries here? And of course there isn't. All right. So maybe this is the problem. I'm kind of thinking here, right? Usually when I use all of my cherries on my pet, they're usually max level maybe there's some kind of like secret voodoo trick that kind of happens in the background where like if it's max level the cherries work better i'm totally kidding please do not comment on this video telling me that i'm lying because i know that there will be people 
doing that. But I just went ahead and asked Parrish if it's okay for me to go ahead and get this max level for him. He said it was perfectly fine, whatever I want to do. So let's get it to max level because, I mean, if I'm not very successful with these cherries, then at least I want to get it to 25 for him. And at least it shows us kind of like what the damage is at max level non-shiny. So I probably should have done this anyways. So we're looking at 4,500. Again, keep in mind, this is without having deadly V on it or any type of deadly for that matter. I don't even know why he doesn't have deadly on it. But anyways, we have six more cherries. I don't want to have to use another prismatic tome if I don't need to use it. So let's see, man. Maybe the max level trick is the way to do this. We're going to go ahead and dump another six in. Please, bro, why are you doing this to me right now? Huh? Why profit? Me and you? We're supposed to have a connection here, all right? For the sake of the video. We're going back to the shrine and getting some more. Let's go ahead and activate another tome. Man, this really sucks. Please, please give me more than just the regular amount. Perf. Okay, and then it gives me a void cherry. Actually, that's a good thing. I need to keep remembering that. Getting a void cherry is actually a good thing. We have plenty of shinies that I'm willing to completely sacrifice because I do not care. Please give me four cherries. Yes, let's go. Quick stop at the black market. And we got three more void cherries in here. Come on, vendor. This is your moment to shine. Let me get a cherry here. There we go. Perfect. So we've now got ourselves seven cherries for this run. Please let this be it, bro. Come on. Like you've already consumed at least 50 cherries. Like just let it happen. We need to see you in your shiny form no bro how is this happening right now i almost forgot about the void cherries let's go ahead and use some of these come on hook your boy up before okay two two is better than one so i'll take it all right next one is going to go ahead and give me three perfect last one here is going to give me another two perfect that puts us now at seven cherries again without having to use a prismatic tome so that's perfect please bro all right you may as well just cave in now turn into a shiny because we ain't stopping until you turn so this is your moment let's go baby 60 of them later <laughs> we did it baby we got ourselves the shiny profit so taking a look at it max level man we're looking at 9,000 damage again that is without having the deadly in it i just went ahead and asked if it was okay for me to put a max level deadly and he said of course so there we go let's take a look at how it looks man yo somehow it actually looks even more sick all right so i'm gonna go ahead and put deadly into this I have 54 of them so i don't really mind whatsoever plus it's one of my subscribers so already that in itself if you're showing support to me this is well worth it i have no problem using any of this stuff so let's feed it a deadly and then we're gonna max it out here all the way to deadly four because I don't really want to use a prismatic scroll on this because he doesn't really have all the other ones. I can kind of help him out here with the lifesteal, even though he doesn't really know, but we're just going to kind of max this out for him just to help him out. Fatal Strike, I actually have pets of my own that I need Fatal Strike, so I can't really help him out there. But look at that, man. 13,000. 500 damage completely maxed out in its shiny form that puts this just barely better damage than the sentinel sentinel maxed out shiny with deadly v in it does 13,200. obviously keep in mind there still is one more deadly level for this one i mean come on bro look at the team look at the team like let's just quick little flex here right i gotta get a screenshot of this because that's that's a flex and a half now what i really want to go do is a kraken fight i kind of want to go see what my crit is right now just to give you guys a general idea i'm gonna open up my stats here and show you guys what my damage is right now so it's 96,480. dude i wish that this was my damage before this my crit was i believe like 470k so let's take a look here and see what kind of damage we're doing now we're gonna jump in Bro, this team is looking solid right now, bro. All right, so base damage hit is going to be, bro, 96K for us, base damage. Crit before 50% is 460K. Crit after 50% is going to be, we're doing 118K damage. 520K crit. Bro, that is so sick, bro. We killed that so fast. Of course. And then the reward for that fight is a cherry. Literally, the pet is laughing at me. Bro was really like, hi, it took you like 70 cherries just to be able to get me. 
Here's a cherry for you. Either way, man, it's time to go ahead and hand the pet back to him. Again, huge thank you to this guy right here, man. Perished myself as well as my community. Appreciate you very, very much for sharing this with us. Let's go ahead and send him a trade. Where is he? Oh, there he is right there. And there you go, my friend accept and the pet is officially back in the hands of parish that was so cool man i actually found that super entertaining even though it cost me a lot i'm actually not mad about it whatsoever hopefully you guys went ahead and enjoyed this video i know that surprisingly for me i did really enjoy it just to give you guys a quick little update over here we are currently on quest 74 i will likely be streaming at some point us getting a lot of these quests done so we can get our hands on that turtle as well as uh what is that like a beach ball or something i don't even know what that is it looks like a jellyfish actually with a crown on top so yeah we're gonna get started first on this one and then we'll do later on the bro one i didn't get to show you guys the pot of gold but look there it goes right there this guy actually has the pot of gold either way man we're gonna go ahead and end the video off right here i really just wanted to share that with you for those of you that are potentially chasing after some of these global secrets now you have a general idea on the best global secret but that's gonna do it for this video man i will see you guys tomorrow for another pet catchers videos because right now we're having an absolute field day with this game man hopefully you guys are as well let me know in the comments if you've been able to get your hands on a global secret that's gonna do it for this video like always i will see you guys in the next one take care